So I, I think this was like maybe just a month ago for you, but you took five grams of mushrooms. Yeah, you shared like uh, an experience which I guess most people would call a bad trip, but you were explaining how like maybe this isn't, that like, you shouldn't be seeing this as a bad trip where like you had intense emotions of like abandonment and like loneliness mm -hmm. just come up to your consciousness yep. and you had to go through that. Um, do you maybe want to like just uh, tell my like viewers, just give a little uh, drop into like what this experience was like for you? Yeah, sure. So I'll, I'll have to... I'll have to give, give a bit of sort of backstory to it and it does sound a little bit morbid but I assure you I, I kind of I view all this through a kind of positive light and so the the, the anxiety issues that I was talking about earlier and how, I, how I, it was related to stuff from my childhood it was ba basically my, my mother committed suicide when I was very young and this was something I'd kind of I basically had to sort of like sub, you know choke down and sort of build my life back around just to sort of you know to, to get through sort of being a kid and to uh, being, a, being an adult so when I'd had been in, uh, doing these retreats in Peru, um, I knew what I was facing. I knew that's, that I was potentially this was not going to be sunshine and rainbows. That at some point I was going to have to face this kind of shadow of my mother's suicide. And yeah, sure enough, I, a few of those kind of occasions came up in Peru. And you kind of, particularly with ayahuasca, you you, you learn quickly that it's you, you you get what you need, not necessarily what you, what you, what you want. And yeah. I, ayahuasca is notorious for, for sometimes being a very difficult experience, like almost hellish sometimes. And I'd certainly had those experiences. So then, yeah. So I, when I did this this mushroom trip uh, about a month ago now, um, mushrooms for me had always been uh, very sort of very fun, very sort of cosmic, sort of like a. Um, there's definitely some some kind of mischief there, but never really it's gone off in this on this dark tangent. But yeah, when I, I took this this uh, this dose of mushrooms and it just th these kind of like emotional firewalls that I'd had in place to sort of between me as an adult and me as this child who just lost its mother just came tumbling down, and I was just hit with like a fire hydrant of raw emotion just just in my face. And yeah, like I, I was feeling like abandonment, loneliness like the anger of a child. Like, have you ever seen like a child just go bananas in the supermarket? You know, it's just on the floor and just smashing its hands and like rah, 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 and the parents are just like, like, what do I do with this kid? Like, and everyone's everyone's looking. Or, you know, so, so that, that kind of anger from a child having a tantrum, that was coming out at me. And similarly, like if you ever seen like a kid like get lost or something, like on, if you're on a beach and you see a kid who's lost its like parents and, it, and they just kind of slump down and they just kind of like, defeated and they don't know what to do because they've not got quite got the framework in place to like ask strangers like where's can you help me find my mom and stuff just all this kind of stuff was hitting me and I was yeah completely unprepared for it but even though it was possibly one of the most unpleasant experiences of my life to be feeling all this I view it as an immensely positive experience because I needed this there, there's a you can sort of imagine, you know, like if, if someone's very emotionally blocked and very, you know, they've been sort of keeping them stuff stewed up in themselves for a while. And you see this on movies all the time. You just get to a point where people just go, Rah! you know, and just, and, and you recognize that, that in a movie as like, as somebody just, just having that release that they need to release. It's an emotional outburst. Yeah. And that's what this was for me. It was all that emotion from a four year old kid who didn't, have the knowledge or the framework or the or, or anything to be able to do this just bottled up for like 30 38 years and then here i am at 42 and it just poured out and it was intense and also but man in the morning i just felt amazing like it was like I, I, it was just yeah a true burden lifted off my shoulders and 